So now we're ready to complete uh, the Black Goose Bistro page and uh, we'll do that by adding a style sheet. That is, we're going to be adding CSS elements, uh, the cascading style sheets. Now these are CSS elements and not necessarily a full CSS style sheet yet. That will come later in the course. The book indicates that it's not until chapter 11 that we're going to be adding a separate document to control the style. In the meantime though, we can just use our same page and uh, add CSS elements to it to make changes. You'll see in the sample in the book that we're going to be basically changing the uh, appearance of the page by centering some of the text, making uh, capital letters, and uh, adding color to some of the text. This is what the page looks like now. And in order to get uh, this assignment going, let's create a new file. Well, before we do that, let me copy first the contents of index4.html. You can copy it straight off of the uh, GitHub as it uh, displays, or you can click on the pencil to edit the file. Click somewhere inside, press Control A as an apple to select all, and then right click and copy. Now that it's copied, we can go back to week three and tell it to add a file and create a new file. Here I will press Control V inside of the editor. Control V as in Victor. That pastes everything and then I should be ready to start tagging uh, additional information. The book tells you that, uh, once it, I'll repeat what I just said, that in chapter 11 we will actually be using cascading style sheets, the full CSS. Here we're just going to be adding a style element. The style element will be going in my line 6 at least, right after the title. It'll still be inside of the head element. So I'll press enter a couple of times and uh, just sort of space my way around. I will open up a bracket and say in the right ang the left angle bracket say uh, that the style will begin here by typing the word style. I'll press enter a couple of times again and then open up the bracket slash style. So all of my styling will be in between line eight and line 10. I can click inside of line nine to start typing. The first thing that we do in the um, styling is we're going to be affecting the body element. The body element is basically everything that is shown in the page. If I were to look at the page source here, I will right click and tell it to view the page source. Body is in line 9, so anything that is between line 9 and line 24 will be affected by the tags that I give it inside of body. Inside of the styles, I will type in body, press a space, and open up the curly braces. And I'll type two of them, one to open, one to close. I'll press enter inside of the two of them and uh, start to add changes to the body inside of here. The first one is we're going to use this. We're going to change the background color. So background hyphen color, colon, and that's going to be followed by a hexadecimal value. Hexadecimal uh, will be represented by a hashtag and then six characters, F, A, F, 2, and E, 4. This doesn't need to be making too much sense to you just yet. Just know that these are hexadecimal values. Those are actually three numbers that I just typed in, F, A, F, 2, and E, 4. Uh, the hexadecimal values go from 0 to 15, 16 total. I will type in a semicolon to indicate that that's the end of a line. In case you're curious as to what this represents, you could uh, highlight it, just a number, and copy it, and do a Google search. I'll uh, paste what I just copied, tell it to search. And the first thing it finds is that if this is a hex color, I'll click on the first result and it'll show me the shade that is going to follow. Like I said, these are three numbers, uh, FA, F2, and E4. 
These are the values for red, green, and blue in hexadecimal. It will show you, uh, this page in particular, will show you a scale of how much red, how much green, and how much blue there is, and what happens when they're combined. I'll return to my file. And I still need to give it a name. So this is going to be called index5.html. I'll scroll to the bottom of the page and tell it to commit the new file. I've only made the first change to the body. You will have to do additional changes to H1 and to H2. So follow the directions, the rest of the instructions for step number three in order to complete the assignment. When you're done, make sure that you visit your page, see what it looks like, make sure that everything looks correct, that it looks like the illustration in the book. I will go to that page and right now all I have accomplished is change the background color to that tan color. You can copy or cut your URL and uh, in your assignment make sure that you submit the correct URL to your page and write submission and paste it which I always do that that should be control V as in Victor to paste it will give your instructor a link when you click submit and it'll be ready to grade and uh, we will continue with more exercises in the next chapter I'll see you then